I'm going to click on Feature Editing. Now, you'll also notice something new in version 10.2 is when I click on a new tool, you notice that the previous tool is automatically minimized. That's because we've implemented a new option under the FEMAP preferences under the user interface to under the meshing toolbox to say expand active tool only. We also can turn on the auto remesh function or we can just tell it to track changes or disable the auto remesh. So we've implemented those two options within FEMAP's preferences. Now in this case, I'm going to go back to my feature editing. And I want to resize a hole. And in this case, I'm going to resize this smaller hole. So let's first of all get the, the initial hole diameter. I'm going to use the measure distance. And it's 0.25. Let's say I want to increase this to 0.375. I'll select, I'll use my select tool. You can see how it's resized the hole. It automatically updated the mesh. 